If cameras are the eyes of the autonomous vehicles, then radars are used to sense the environment. Their interconnection is a complex system consisting of multiple radar sensors and cameras. This complexity can be reduced drastically by implementing a single radar sensor. And the overall system efficiency can be increased by combining all these technologies for our safety. Autonomous navigation is one such area where LIDAR technology is reaching new heights. Greetings all, I Sanjana am here to help you explore the world of LIDAR processing. Our area of focus is leveraging this fast-growing LIDAR technology. We will understand what a LIDAR is, what are the different sources of LIDAR data, what are organized and unorganized point cloud, importing point cloud data, basic pre-processing of point cloud data. LIDAR stands for light detection and ranging. It works by emitting a beam of pulse of laser or visible light. Time taken by the reflected signal to travel back to the source from an object or surface is used to calculate the distance between them. It is also known as 3D scanning. Therefore, any object or surface that can reflect light a 3D model can be developed. To name a few, LIDAR has found its use in surveying autonomous vehicles, construction, meteorology, agriculture, mining, forestry and satellite tracking. We are going to make use of the following toolboxes. Computer Vision, LIDAR and Automated Driving Toolbox. So let's get started. LIDAR sensors produce data of scanned objects in the form of 2D and 3D point cloud. A point cloud is a set of data points in space representing the X, Y and Z spatial coordinates of the object. There are two types of point cloud data. The unorganized point cloud data is a row point cloud. It has M number of points and C number of channels. Few LIDAR sensors are example of this type. The organized point cloud has length M, width N and C number of channels. Stereo cameras are example of this type. We are going to look at extracting and pre-processing of both organized and unorganized point cloud data using three case scenarios, Ego Vehicle, Velodyne Sensor and Open Source LIDAR dataset. So let us start data acquisition from an Ego Vehicle. We are using the Auster OS1 LiDAR sensor mounted horizontally on top of an Ego Vehicle, recorded from a highway driving scenario. This is organized data with 64 horizontal scan lines. The data is downloaded using helper download data function and a point cloud is created. We are going to look at the ROI approach which stands for region of interest to define the area which we are going to use. Segment ground from LIDAR data and PC fit plane functions are defined under a single function helper extract ground to sort non-ground and ground points using the respective indices and piecewise fitting for obtaining a robust model. MATLAB has a LIDAR toolbox support package for Velodyne LIDAR sensors toolkit for data acquisition and processing developed for this range of sensors. Make sure you have MATLAB R2020B or later installed with LIDAR toolbox as a must and of course you need a supported Velodyne sensor. Data from LAS or LAS or PCAP file formats can be processed using the given support package. Velodyne file reader function is used to import data from Velodyne sensor and the remaining pre-processing steps are similar to what we saw previously. Before moving further, I'd like to highlight that only 4.3% of our viewers have subscribed to our channel. If you love our work, then continue your support by subscribing to our channel. Investing in LIDAR sensors as a student or researcher is out of scope as these sensors are heavy on the pocket. The alternative is open source LIDAR dataset made available at the click of finger with just a simple sign in. These are a few websites where you can download the LIDAR dataset for free. USGS Earth Explorer, NOAA Digital Coast, Open Topography and National Ecological Observatory Network. After going through them all, I found Open Topography easy to use. Under Find Data Map in the drop down menu, you can access data from any region directly from maps or you can filter data points based on the type of dataset, collector and funder. 
data starting from 2006 till the recent 2023 is available measured over a few days to a few months you can either download bulk data or point cloud data there is also information regarding the number of points area point density and cluster classification upon selecting point cloud download option you can view some more information regarding the survey now scroll down and select the region highlighted in red you will find the number of points that are chosen the data is available in dot las las and ascii file formats you can select appropriately you can also choose the visualization type and also visualize the point cloud in your browser the final step is to add in your sign in details and click on submit depending on size of your data the download will be ready so now we have dot las file point cloud data file when it comes to las or las files then matlab has las reader object which can be used for read write and obtain classification information of objects detected las file reader will read the las point cloud data file as an object and a point cloud is created with the help of a read point cloud function this is an unorganized point cloud we cannot use the same processing techniques as earlier you can either use the region of interest property to define the area or another approach is to use the classification information property of the las file reader object this will provide information on different classes of the input point cloud we use segment ground smrf function smrf stands for simple morphological filter this algorithm has the following stages the creation of a minimum elevation map of the surface segmenting the surface map into the ground and non ground elements using morphological opening operation and segmenting of original point cloud data now that we have understood all the available lidar data sources and learned the pre processing techniques of organized and unorganized point cloud data i am sure you will definitely try out a hand at lidar processing after all it's not that tedious as it sounds right to learn more visit the blog with the link mentioned in the description thank you for watching this video do like this video if you have found it helpful If you have any queries post them in the comments or get in touch with us follow us on linkedin facebook and subscribe to our youtube channel education is our future matlab is our future happy matlabing